Hello and welcome to finally module 12. Module 12 covers a number of different topics. Here we're going to be doing tests on multiple proportions. So this will be allowing us, it's somewhat an extension again to what we did in module 10. In module 10 we had hypotheses where we were testing across two population means and then finally we looked at two population proportions P1 equal to P2 or not equal to P2 or we could do lower tail or upper tail tests whatever you want. So now we're going to take that a step further and consider P1 equal to P2 equal to P3 equal to as many as we want and the alternative not all are equal. So we'll go through a couple of examples, uh, testing multiple proportions. We'll keep the examples fairly short, so we'll probably limit ourselves to just three different uh, populations and test for equality across those three proportions. And then we have another procedure that we'll look at. Uh, in the event that we do reject the null hypotheses, if we reject it, well, then we have this issue that, well, okay, not all of them are equal, so where does the difference uh, arise? And so we'll look at uh, some follow-up tests that we can do uh, then to identify where a difference might exist. So we'll look at uh, tests on multiple proportions. We'll also be including in here uh, test, whoops, tests on independence. So in other words, are two variables independent of one another? So for example, um, null hypotheses, let's say beer consumption is independent of gender, uh, or not, uh, beer and gender are not independent. So we can look at whether or not different variables, we'll just be looking at two different variables to see whether or not we have evidence to show that uh, these two variables are independent. In other words, gender uh, and beer consumption are completely independent. One does not affect the other and vice versa. So men and women, uh, they drink similar quantities of beer uh, as each other. There's no dependence. So we'll look at a few different examples uh, to determine whether or not any two variables are dependent. And again, here, all of the tests that we're doing in this module are all using proportions. So this test here we're going to be looking at is the expected proportion different from our actual proportions. Uh, and there's going to be a whole series of chi-squared tests that we're going to be working on. And this test for independence is just another example, uh, another type of chi-squared test that we'll be looking at. Uh, and then again, also in this section, in addition to testing on multiple proportions, testing on independence, we're also going to be looking at goodness of fit tests. And in fact, here we're going to be looking at two different uh, types of goodness of fit. We'll be looking at multinomial distributions uh, and normal distributions. So the multinomial test that we'll be looking at would be one such that P1 is equal to P2 is equal to P3 is equal to some identical, some specified proportion. So these are all equal to, let's say, 0 0.33. Uh, Alternatively, oops, not all are equal. 2.33. So that would be uh, it either it does follow a multinomial distribution or it does not follow a multinomial distribution. Similarly, when we perform the goodness of fit tests for uh, normally distributed uh, variables, normally distributed populations, this will be something to the effect of, you know, the null hypothesis says that it is normally distributed with some specified mean, mu equals to some value, and 
uh, sigma equals to some value. So we'll specify two parameters and we'll test to see uh, is this sample, does it follow a normal distribution? Is it representative of a population that follows a normal distribution? Uh, or it is not uh, normally distributed. These ones are long-winded to write out. Not normally distributed with mean this and sigma that. Okay, so we'll set these specified parameters and test to see do we have evidence to show that uh, it supports the null, so it is normally distributed with these parameters, or supports the alternative that it is not normally distributed with those parameters. So in this module 12, as you can see, we're doing a number of different types of, of tests. All of them are working with proportions. All of them uh, are going to be chi-squared tests. This one, there will be some utilization of our Z tables, but for the most part, everything here is going to be uh, various types of chi-squared tests that we'll be looking at. Okay, so hopefully that's enough to kind of wet your palate. <laughs> I don't know, get you excited about doing tests on proportions, if that's possible. We'll see. Anyways, uh, let's get started on some practice problems. Thanks.